Welcome to my implementing FIDO2 authentication for Azure AD users video. On this presentation, I will show three steps in order to have FIDO2 up and running. The first one is a global setting into the Azure AD, where the place where we kind of you know enable FIDO2. Step number two is we need to go into the Microsoft Endpoint Manager, create a profile that will allow the users to log on on their devices using a security key like this. And then, of course, I need to show the end user experience. There are two steps. The first one, how the end user can or should register a new key, and then eventually how they can log on, um, log on into the system using a FIDO2 key instead of password. These are the three steps I'm going to show. And I kind of as a quick bonus, especially if you are new into the FIDO2 world, I will show quickly how you can reset the configuration uh, from, from a key, especially if you are building a lab, you can reset the configuration, build again from the scratch in order to be confident when doing the implementation on the real world. Okay, let's dive into it. I have the quick agenda here just to drive my thoughts when running the presentation. The first thing I want to do is go into the Azure AD and then there are two things I need to check. The first one, I want to make sure I have enabled MFA for a user I'm going to use in this presentation, Alan D. And then second, I will enable FIDO2 as a global configuration for everybody. Let me start with the first one. Actually, th there are different ways you can check that in terms of checking if the user has M uh, MFA enabled. In my case, I decided to stick with admin.microsoft.com and then from here on the left, active users. And then here on the three dots, I can click on multi-factor authentication, just click in there. And then I should be able now to see all my users in a quick status. Uh, again, I want to focus on a user called Alan, as you guys can see at the moment. Yeah, uh, so far so good. I have Alan in here and the multi-factor authentication is enabled. Okay, that's step number one. Yeah, no big, let's say big challenges in here. Now is where the kind of the deep configuration starts. Let me enable FIDO2 and then later I will move into the, the configuration on MEM and uh, user experience and so on. Okay, now the place I want to go is over a portal.azure.com. Again, especially if you are new into the business, yeah, just make sure you go to Azure. Dot, uh, sorry, portal.azure.com. In here, you can always search here on the top. Otherwise, uh, if it shows in here, Azure Active Directory, this is the one you really need. Just click in there. And then I need to jump straight here on the left on security. Okay, just click in there. And then you need to find, yeah, that's the big, the, the big one. Okay, authentication methods. Okay, just click in there. And I believe I haven't enabled that yes, uh, yet. Yeah, as you can see, there are multiple authentications I can enable or disable. And I'm interested now on the first one, FIDO2 security key. I have my security key here in standby where I'm going to test in a few seconds. Okay, no rock science in here. Just let me click into the FIDO2 and then make sure most likely by default on your tenant it will be disabled. Make sure you click on enable. Now we have the option to enable that configuration for every single user in your tenant or otherwise, as I was testing before, you can of course always specify a group and then if you click on add a group and then in here all your let's say security groups and so on will be listed. In my case uh, is a lab. I didn't want to kind of affect every single user straight away. I decided to stick with the security group IT for the moment. And then of course, later on, I will uh, kind of expand for other departments as well. Okay, test step number one, under the enable and target. I will keep the default in here, but let me quickly show you. If you click on configure, there are a couple of configurations in here. Maybe, you know, you could enforce, as you can see here, enforce key restriction. You can click in there and then, you know, each of those keys, they have a specific uh, ID and then you can kind of block or allow, you know, just to make sure the, the keys, the users are going to register into the Azure AD belongs to, you know, your own organization instead to leave open for anybody who could go and buy a key. Uh, for the moment, I will keep, uh, let's say, simple and I will just leave the default configuration. Yes, yes, and no for the moment. And that's it. Now let me just save the configuration. Okay, if I go back to my quick agenda, okay, this is done. You know, this is done. 
Okay, now before I jump into the user configuration, I just want to make sure the my users when they are you know switching on their laptops from you know from now on they have the option on top of typing the password maybe typing a, a, a pin typing uh, sorry doing the face recognition as well they can use a fido2 a fido2 authentication as well okay next step let me dive into the microsoft endpoint manager and i need to create a quick policy to, you know, just to bring an option available for the Windows 10, Windows 11, and so on. Okay, actually, let me show the result first, and then it's always easier. I, I believe it's easier for you to follow my thoughts. Okay, the virtual machine I've been using is here, um, Windows, just a, a, a Windows 10. And as you can see, the user Alan is already in standby. And, you know, depending the configuration, you have pushed you know via intune you might not see this option sign in option if i click in there or you might see only let's say the password and the uh, the pin but not actually you know the key where the user can insert the key and start a login uh, from there okay if that uh, fido2 security key is missing in your environment. Okay, pay attention now on the next step. I will show how to create a policy that will bring that configuration into the devices. Okay, I'm looking, you know, to enable what I, I have done already just to buy a bit of time. Anyway, let me show how I can do that. Next step is uh, I need to dive into the, yeah, as I said a few minutes ago, okay, make sure you go into the endpoint.microsoft.com. And to be honest, it's not too complicated. Here on the left, just click on devices. And then I could, you know, quickly see all my devices in here. Again, this is not a kind of real environment, just my own lab environment, where I've been playing quite a lot with Microsoft uh, servers and Windows 10 and Windows 11 and so on. But anyway, it, it doesn't matter for now. Let me go straight into the configuration profiles. That's the place you need to go. Okay, again, you know, depending, you might have a couple of profiles already created. I have my profile already done, already applied. I just wanted to make sure everything is fine. But if you are creating from the scratch, just make sure you hit the button, create a profile, just click in there. Now, of course, there are a bunch of different um, uh, platforms you can select in my case. I've been uh, playing with Fido2 for Windows 10, and then let me stick with Windows 10 and later. Click in there. Now, there are actually two different ways you can use. Let me just select the templates. Okay, make sure to pick templates. And then here, there are, you know, different ways. You could go for a custom configuration, but I really want to keep this video simple. And then let me jump straight to the identity protection. Okay, that's the, uh, on my understanding, the easiest uh, way for you to deploy that configuration. Okay, let me stick with identity protection. Okay, click in there. Now you need to uh, you need to provide a name again. You know whatever is the standard your company is using. Let me say uh, enable Fido Fido two login or sign in or so on. Okay, that's fine. And then believe it or not, if you click on next, the only thing you need to do is enable this option. Use sign in. Let me just do a quick uh, zoom uh, zoom here. Okay, just make sure you enable this option. Uh, use security key for sign in. And believe it or not, that's pretty much it. Okay, of course, I could push some other configuration for the Windows Hello and so on, but my focus here is on FIDO2. Okay, click on Next. Now, especially if you have been playing or uh, managing <clears throat> Intune, you are familiar with, with that. Here's the place where now I have a policy and then I need to assign for uh, users for a specific computers or for all users and you know all devices in this case because i have the configuration already done or actually let me show you uh, the place i need to go is to add a group okay and then here it could be a computer group or can be a user group i have set before i believe a windows 10 group yeah a windows 10 group okay just whatever you know the group you you have created before select that and then click on next and yeah, we can set some rules, some properties, but you know, I, I want to keep simple and then basically create. Okay, now, of course, I need to kind of, you know, wait now a couple of minutes until the Intune can reach those devices and push the configuration. 
and I don't want to delay you, uh, just to buy a bit of time. What I did already, I already created this policy before, enable security key for sign in. I did exactly the same, you know, uh, before. The good news is that configuration has been applied at least for one device, just my quick lab. If I click on quick report, and then I should be able to see here, yeah, my Windows 10-21, and the, the configuration was uh, su successfully deployed for that device. And here the date, the time, and, you know, everything is looking good. And then, you know, thanks to this policy, I, as I showed before, thanks to that policy now, uh, the users using this Windows 10-21, they have the option here, sign in options, and then they can basically pick the FIDO2 authentication. Okay, anyway, I yeah, just to kind of, you know, show quickly to you is exactly what I did before. If I just quickly go, go there, yeah, I have applied for my Windows 10 and the configuration I have enabled is exactly the use security key for sign in is enabled has been applied and you know everything is done from you know <clears throat> from this point of view in here okay so far so good let me just go back to my quick agenda now there is a very important step all the users they must complete in order to have the fido2 enabled okay follow my thoughts here just to make sure i don't have any conflict with previous you know cache sign in and so on let me start a session as in private let me just click in here and very important now, okay, take note, you need to go to my, uh, this is the end user, okay? The end users, they need to go to my profile.microsoft.com, okay? Just hit enter. And then I just want to, uh, to kind of, you know, prove to you as well, the basic MFA is already, uh, already working for this user. Let me log on as my user, as I said before, Alan D. Let me click in here, and then hopefully I can remember the password uh, here. Okay, let me just get my mobile here ready for the multi-factor authentication. Click on sign in. Oops, uh, wrong password. Let me try again. Okay, that's better. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me just approve in here. Okay, this is kind of, you know, the basic MFA is already working for this user. Okay, that's fine. Now, as I was saying, very important, under the, the myprofile.microsoft.com, the step is in here. The end user, they need to click on the left, security info, just click in there. The, the process is not too complicated, but unfortunately must be, you know, must be uh, completed. And now finally is the time where the end user needs to insert the FIDO2 key in order to finish the configuration. As you can see, I have already enabled for this user, or let's say the user has already enabled the Microsoft authentication, the multi-factor authentication is fine. And the next step is to add a sign-in method. Okay, let me click in there. There are a couple of options, but of course, let me dive straight into the one uh, where this video is all about, security key. Let me click on add. Okay, and now we have two options, USB device or NFC. Let me go to USB. That's the option, you know, I have. Click in here. Now, of course, later on you can, if you want, you can pause the video and read, but no big thing in here. Let me click on next. And then in a few seconds, I need to <clears throat> just uh, uh, insert the key and follow, um, you know, a few steps to have the job done. Okay, that's fine. Now, next step is make sure you select external security key or built-in sensor. Let me click in there. Uh, yeah, there we go. Now, of course, because I have logged on as Alan D, let me just confirm that. And then, yeah, one more time. Let me continue the setup. Click on OK. Oh, finally. Okay, now is the time where I will just connect my, my key into the USB port. Okay, is connected. Okay, first I need to create a pin. Let me just type, uh, okay, let me confirm. Okay, let me set up a pin first. Click okay. Okay, yeah, now is the time where I need to, uh, the, the device need to read my fingerprint. Let me get in there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, touch one more time. Okay, and should be all done. Okay, that's the procedure now. My user call Alan has completed 
and oh yeah well i just need to set what's the you know the key name let me add as a yeah sec a key zero one okay whatever you know the, the best name you want click on next and then in a few seconds i should be able to see yep yeah, believe it or not all set all done if i click on done as you can see now i have an additional option i started with the microsoft authenticator and now i have the security key already registered the name i created and uh, yeah that's it now of course later on eventually if the user loses the key or you know things have changed the user can come at any stage and delete the the option just click on here and delete and eventually you know reconfigure that option uh, again if needed okay now finally yeah let's see if it works let me close down everything and yeah before doing a factory reset let me log in again to see if i can log on now not using password but using the you know fido2 authentication okay let me just start again i don't want to conflict with any other previous um a session let me start in in uh, private uh, in private uh, yeah now could be you know mail.office365 or you know it doesn't matter uh, any office 365 uh, address my profile.microsoft or actually let me do something let me go to my emails now uh, mail.office365.com you know this would be the kind of day-to-day -day for that user uh, call alan okay now actually i could you know type the username in here but because I have enabled the FIDO2 and hopefully everything is working, the user now, instead to kind of waste a bit of time, type all the email address, the user can simply click on sign in option, click in there, and then eventually select uh, sign in with a security key. Okay, is in there. And then my security key, you know, follow the same option in here uh, again, external. And then yeah now i need i need to type my my pin i created a few seconds ago okay and then finally now i will just the the system will read my fingerprint and then the user should be in okay that's fine yeah looks good and that's it yeah as you could see the user let's say my user i'm using called alan didn't have to type any password now in order to get in and that's pretty much the steps in order to have a FIDO2 authentication configured for Azure AD users. And now to finish this video, let me show you where you can go in order to reset your security key to the factory settings. This is useful enough, especially if you are new into the FIDO2 world and then you want to build a lab a couple of times and you need to reset the configuration or reset the key before building uh, it again. Anyway, the place to go is here on the Windows search bar. Just type for signed and then make sure you open sign in options. Click in there. Now make sure you go to the security key. Click in there and then click on manage. And of course, now I need to insert my security key. Let me just plug it in. Okay, that's fine. Now I need to touch at least once. Okay, great. That's step number one. Now I have the option, the second option available here to reset the security key. If I click on reset, just a quick note saying all the information in that security key will be removed. And in my case, uh, this is what I want to do. Click on proceed, click in there. Now I need to unplug the security key, then eventually just wait a few seconds. Now plug it back. Make sure you always plug back into the same USB port. When I tried that before with a different port, I think the system gets, you know, get, gets confused. Actually, I'm not going to erase the configuration I just built, but right now, if I tap the, the security key one more time, and then eventually the process uh, finishes, erasing all the configuration saved in that key. And that's pretty much it. This is what I wanted to share on my implementing FIDO2 authentication for Azure AD users. If you find this content useful, please give a quick like, subscribe my channel, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.